Hi guys, um, welcome back to the one colour challenge. Um, number 13 uh, is Rust Brown. Rust Brown number 13 we're going to use today. And we'll uh, go for it with some melting on the iron. And I've gone back all the way on my card because I like it. I don't even need to put any more wax on there, look. There's still plenty on. So let's, all I'm gonna do is just slide my card over a little bit and just pop my thumb in corner, push a few bits in. All right, we've now run out of wax, which is absolutely fine. Well, near enough, on the bit of it we needed it. Tiny bit more. Pull in from this edge, not like so. So, got some mountains there, and then I'm going to twist my card again. So I've got my card twisted round. Run some wax down that edge of the iron where there's no wire. Coming out the side. And then just work it a little bit as we come down. And just keep tapping. Some colour in. Just ridge some right away, and then you can grab bits of colour from your under paper if you want. Get it in there, and then just start making some marks and bits and pieces. And it'll look like there's some water there. And put a path in this one. Because we haven't had a path in last few. Nice thick bit of wax there, look. And drag through that. Drag up there. Drag a tree. Big tree. Someone said to me the other day, Are you sure this is wax painting and not Bob Ross style? And I said, No, it's definitely wax painting. Showed them how it worked, and they were like, Ah. Oh. But I can see that the, the uh, reason people think it is very Bob Ross, and it's because we kind of work in a similar way. Um, mountains, hills, trees, birds, all that. And it's because Bob Ross' work is what's been pushed out on TV a lot. Over years, so people recognise that. They don't recognise Encaustic quite as much. Although Encaustic is much older than oil paint. Good little bit. Hope you enjoyed that one. It's quite nice.